What up guys, Roy here with CCMC again and today I just want to cover a quick helpful video on how to uh, send your HP tuners module in for unlocked. On that note, uh, let's go ahead and get started on the uh, video at hand which is TCM removal, so transmission control modules on your uh, Camaro SS 20, 2017, 2018, and 2019, or 2017 to 2019 ZL1. So as you can see, I have already got the uh, facial removed. I'm taking care of a good customer here. With that said, let's go over some general subjects at hand first. Some 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 basics. Um, basically, these cars attend. This is a 2019 ZL1 A10. They generally don't need calibrations. Um, we're doing the stage one, RCCNC stage one, which is going to be the uh, uh, cold air intake flex fuel sensor with the Bluetooth module. And we're going to do the PCM, so the engine, and then the TCM tune. Um, like I said, they don't generally need them. As you start adding power, there is some benefit to be obtained by calibrating the transmission in, con in conjunction with the engine. Part of that is just torque request, torque demands, uh, predicted actual torques. Um, it gets really, really granular, but long story short, if a torque value on the engine or the transmission is not matched or cannot take it, let's say the, the trans says, hey, I can't take this torque, it'll close the throttle blade and eventually you're losing momentum because even though your right foot is planted, the throttle blade is closing, you're not accelerating in that split, split second. So when you multiply that, you know, this happens many times per second. Um, when you multiply that happening, even if it's just a small degree over a period of time, we can kind of see how this slows down the car. So part of the reason our car is pretty fast for what it has done, I'm not gonna say I, this is the fastest Z01, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care about that stuff, but it's pretty fast for what it's got done. Um, and this one is gonna be the same way. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll put the video here, you guys. Decent power, I think something like 117 over stock. just from our stage one. And part of that is because we were able to scale the transmission to allow more torque values and, and all in all and put it together, it forms a linear kind of power band. So that's why the graph is smooth. Okay, so for those of you guys that don't know, the transmission control module is gonna be located in this area here. So this is the passenger side, just be, just uh, behind the, uh, the heat exchanger here. Um, the Camaro SS is gonna be the same place. Um, technically, if you really wanted to, you don't have to remove the front fascia. You can kind of get it in from the wheel well uh, for the purpose of the video and because it's just easier for me, I'd rather pull the fascia, take my time and do it right. So um, once I pull the fascia, I just kind of move the uh, the air deflector. There's clips here all around. Um, you can see I just kind of staged them in here. Uh, I'll just move this guy out of the way. Uh, and we'll see the TCM, which is actually right here connected to this plug. So there's some lock tabs that will get rid of those. We need to essentially remove that. Um, for more context, I've already disconnected the, the battery in the back, so there's no power to this car. We're going to do a little bit more of the mods themselves. So, yeah, let's go ahead and remove that, see what that looks like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you guys through... Uh, how to get the service number and how to kind of prepare for shipments and what to do on HP Tuner's site. This is mainly beneficial for our customers. We've, we've been getting a lot of questions, uh, whether it's mine, BRC Rakesworks, um, 
on, hey, I am interested in tuning my trans. I would like to ship it out to HP tuners. I'm not really sure how to do it or uh, the shop that is, is helping me out or I can't get the car. Whatever the reason may be, it doesn't matter. But if, if you're technically inclined, hopefully this would help you. So I got the fascia off. You know where the TCM is. Let's go ahead and pull it off and then walk through the HP tuners. All right, so I got the module loose. Basically, um, you can't see it, but once when, where the module clips in, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's one tab here, one on the other side. You gently pull them up, slide the module down and out. Um, there's a fir tree clip here that you just gently pull out. And then we have this module here. In order to get this, this is your standard um, connector. Um, we are going to pull this little red pin out, push down and unlock. So pull the pin down, we'll push down here as we grab and this should free it up. So let me do that now. Fortunately, I only have two hands and I'm holding the camera. I don't have a fancy mount, so uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have it off. What we want to look at here is the service number of the T87 or T87 or in this case T87 Alpha because it's a 2019. Um, at the bottom, there's a service number. You're going to need that written down once you uh, go to HP tuners. So I have this out. We do want to be mindful of electrostatic discharge. So I'm definitely going to cover this up when we ship it accordingly so we don't hit ESD. Um, again, the power is disconnected. Uh, I've kind of removed all residual current that was there. So this is what it looks like, T87 Alpha uh, for 2019. I think, tw well, 2017 to 2018 have the T87. Um, one caveat is if you have a 2020 Camaro, you cannot do this feature because it has a T93 TCM and HP tuners do not support that. Okay, so once you got the TCM off, we got the service number, we got the vehicle identification number, which is the VIN. Uh, we're going to go ahead and come to hptuners.com uh, and look for the TCM unlocked. So that's going to be the T87 unlocked that's on the screen. Um, there's two different options here. There's going to be the unlock and program and the unlock only. The biggest difference of the two is the unlock only is, is if you were taking your existing transmission control module, your TCM, so the one that came off the original vehicle, and you just simply need it unlocked so you can calibrate it. Um, that's when you would get the unlock service. But let's say, for example, you had a another car or you pulled the TCM off another ZL1 and you want to put it on yours but the VIN number doesn't match or or you took it from an, uh, a Camaro or, or, or whatever Corvette it, it, it doesn't really matter um, then you would do unlock and program and that's what the additional cost covers because they're going to unlock it and program it to your specific VIN. So uh, once that's done you're going to input your VIN down here and then just add to the cart and go through the checkout process. Um, for the sake of security, I'm not gonna go through the VIN number. I'm gonna do this offline, but this is just so you guys can see what's up. Um, let's go ahead and scroll down here. What we wanna do is shipping. So I normally would make like a Google Doc or a Drive and, and literally just copy this whole thing here and then make two copies. So I'll, I'll I'll do a print one and I'll put inside the box with my customer name, my address, my email and phone number, the unlock service order. That's the one that's on the bottom of the TCM, that service number, the VIN number, and then the preferred shipping method. So I'll, two, I'll print two copies of those. I'll put one inside the box and then one outside the box so it's easy for them to kind of review and it'll have like my order number and everything once it's checked out. So uh, once that's done, you can box your TCM up, ship it uh, when you get it back install it in the vehicle, and then you're ready for a calibration in which we will cover in another video.